Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of The Parts Bin. Today we're talking about an easy solution for a very common problem. Alright guys, here at this shop we get calls all the time with people having problems of low boost, a low power, a slow spool up, high AGT, lots of smoke. And uh, one of the many things we ask them is, have you done a boost leak check? That's where you check your whole system to see if you have any big air leaks in your boost system. Uh, most guys say, I, how would I even do that? It's, it's, it's a simple task, but very few people actually have the tools to do it. So Tony came up with this awesome thing. Tony, tell us about this bad boy. All right, so basically what we came up with was the easiest way to get regulated shop air into your compressor inlet. That way you can pressure test the entire charge air tract from the turbo through the intercooler and into the head, including all the piping in between. Because there's a lot of potential places for boost leaks, especially on compound setups. Um, so you want to make sure to check the entire thing. One time when I was racing, I, had a, I was at a race in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, at a track that no longer exists. And I was trying to spool up the line and I could not build boost. Uh, once, I got, once I got down the track and some RPM power came on, it was great, but I could not build boost on the, on the converter. So we got back to the pits and we were searching, searching, and I had a bolt left out of my stupid grid heater intake plate. That plate had a bolt missing in the manifold. So a nice little leak right there. I mean, that's a small leak compared to like a valve or an, an engine consuming air. It's tiny, but mm -hmm. that little bolt hole is enough that I could not get up on boost. And so any leak will make a noticeable difference. And so once I fixed that, it, it fixed it. And anytime I've had a leak, when I fix it, my response is way faster. I mean, the response mm -hmm. from a leak yeah. really improves a lot. Yeah. So how does this thing work? So pretty much <clears throat> you've got a three to four boot right here that you just this this fitting comes with uh, with a uh compound already on it for loctite right yeah there's or thread sealant <clears throat> pre-applied thread sealant here so you don't need to worry about that um, and then of course you uh, ugga dugga these right into a low orbit and then uh, that means tighten them up real good yeah <laughs> um, and then connect regulated and I'm going to stress regulated shop air into this because this um, can be a nice little cannon yeah yeah exceed about 30 psi at your own peril um, you don't need more than 30 psi to check no, for a leak no there's there's no there's no boost leak ever that 30 psi and a soap such solution won't bring out so yeah so if you have like yeah. i mean what do you use for a solution to check do you spray windex or something what do you like i you can use literally anything that that bubble like shake the bottle if it bubbles you can use it yeah it's dish, dish soap and water in a, in a yeah. hairspray bottle just start squirting all your connections mm -hmm. Squirt your end tanks along your inner cooler. That's a prone yeah. to crack there. Mm -hmm. All your boats, and you'll you'll see it. It'll start bubbling. Mm -hmm. You'll probably hear it yeah. if it's bad enough. You'll hear it, but soap it all down, and you'll see a leak. And so, but yeah, if you're in a noisy shop and maybe the auditory indicators aren't that great, um, some other places to check are on the back of your turbo. Um, if you have a if you have an S300, um, these bolts back here. Sometimes if they back off, they'll leak. Mm -hmm. um, um, and yeah, pretty much just clamps, boots, anything that's a connection point. Um, Todd mentioned the end tanks on the, on the charger cooler. Um, if there's anything in the core, I would say you could probably hear it because it probably was a rock strike or something. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, you will. Now, the other thing is the, uh, the, the auditory indicators will maybe be a little bit misleading because wherever your engine rolled over when you shut it off last, there's going to be valves open, right? So you're going to hear some air movement inside Through the, the engine, but it's not going to be, I mean, it's not going to hiss. Yeah. It's not going to hiss. It's going to be a, a dull low, yes, type exactly. noise. So, um, and depending on how yeah. radical your cam is, you may or may not have overlap. So yes, that makes a difference too. Yeah. So, but anyway, this is a great kit. This kit here comes with a, 
four inch boot that'll handle all your stock turbos hx35s hq351s s300s mm -hmm. and uh, we we're, ha we're making boots to go up to a five inch five and a half inch so you can boost leak test anything you want um, those will be here shortly this is a this boot's awesome it's you could use this in a turbo system it's a five ply airmid fiber boot top of the line boot so crank these things down and this thing should really make it easy for you to test boost leaks on your turbo system that's about it guys this is a cool setup if you have any, if you have problems give us a call uh, but uh, yeah make sure your turbo system is leak free and you'll have way better response clear GT better towing more fun thanks guys got anything else I think we're good we're good we'll see you next time thanks